I was sent two different toothbrushes to do a comparison review. First, we have this Lathan toothbrush, and then we have the popular Philips Sonicare toothbrush. These are gonna both be very similar in price point, but they have some different features, and I'm gonna go over those for you while I unbox them and try them out. So let's go. All right, so I feel like I'm opening a brand new Apple product right now, because this is like the same unboxing process. Same box, this is really cool. Look at that beauty. This is a beautiful toothbrush. So it's just stainless steel all the way around. It is really heavy too, so this should last a while, even if you drop it. So it just basically shows you how to turn it on. You're gonna long press it to turn it on. And I can feel it move and turn on. This thing is shiny. They packaged it really nicely. So it comes with your toothbrush and it comes with your charging port. I feel like this is like a next level. I feel like I'm opening a cell phone right now, but this is not a cell phone. This is a toothbrush. So you have three different toothbrush heads, which is really sleek. So each one of these toothbrush heads is going to be a specific clean, or you can use them for different family members if you don't need any specific kind of cleaning. So there are different bristles. If you look at the bristles, they're all three different. I'm just gonna grab a generic one, throw it on here. That slid on really nicely. Of course, you can buy replacements because these are not gonna last very long and you should change them often. If you see here on the bottom, it does have this little light that shows how much battery power is gonna be here. And as you can see, I turned that on and you can see Look how cool that is. So if you look here, you can see it actually moving. So that's really cool. So this gray one here is gonna be perfect for gum care. So it's gently gonna clean with a daily brushing. This one here is going to be a super clean. So it's gonna be high efficiency cleaning. And this purple one here is going to be for whitening. All right, so switching the modes, you actually have to press and you have to apply pressure. At first I couldn't figure it out, but they have the three different modes here, and that's how it's gonna select. So let's turn it off, and you do have to press down and apply pressure, so it won't work if you don't do that. So let's turn it on, apply pressure, hit twice. Okay, that is mode two and mode three. So this one here does have an app, so we're gonna install the app and try that out and see kind of what it's like so I can compare it to the Sonicare app. So now that I downloaded this app, I can tell that it is so much easier to use. You can turn it on, turn it off, adjust how long it goes, adjust all of the intensity and frequency, as well as set like an emergency on it. So there is a ton of options there on the app, and the app's gonna allow you to use it a little bit easier. I did find it pretty difficult at first to use this, but after a while, I kind of got a hang of it and it works pretty good and I love the nice sleek look. So that's all you do is just basically use this as a regular toothbrush. I recommend using the app with it all the time. I didn't see any kind of tracker or anything too fancy. It was just a basic on and off function. And you can add different profiles too. So if you have a child or a spouse that has different kind of teeth and needs something a little more intense or a little less intense, you can do that as well. So we're comparing this to the Sonicare 7500 Expert Clean. So this one here claims that it removes 10 times more plaque and this one even has a Sonicare app. It has a pressure sensor, four brushes, three intensity levels, as well as USB charging and a travel case. So it does come with a little traveling case so it's gonna hold your toothbrush in here as well as some extras here. So you can throw this in your bag for easy travel. It is kind of big and kind of clunky though, so hopefully you have some room in your luggage. Of course, it comes with your user manual. Refer to this, because this is gonna be a complex toothbrush. A couple extra toothbrush heads, a micro USB cord, a power brick, and your toothbrush. So your toothbrush does have some buttons on the front. We have your power an easy to use mode, so one, two, three, power off. It is going to have its own little charger that it comes with, so you'll be able to just set it here and make sure it is fully charged so you can use it multiple times. These look like different brush heads. I'm not sure if they're specifically for different things. However, they are different colors. They also have some guards up top here, so let's throw this on here and we're gonna try this out. So changing the modes on this one is easy and there's an easy to read LCD screen. So it's clean, white plus, and then we have our gums and your deep clean. Changing all these is gonna be as easy as hitting it 
with a button here. It's an ergonomic toothbrush. It fits in my hand nicely as an adult, and I love the sleek look. I also love that the Sonicare does have a pressure alert. So I'm starting to have some recession in my gums, and my dentist says that's because I press too hard. So this here is gonna be great for me because it's going to kick my habit, hopefully, of pressing too hard. So this is a black one. They also make it in a pink and a white. So if you have multiple people in your family or if you have a specific color that you love, you can choose your own color, which is really fun that it's customizable. So I went ahead and installed the app for the Sonicare and it worked pretty good. There is a tracker in there, so it tells you how long you brushed your teeth, what days you brushed your teeth. I'm not sure if you actually need that. That's a little excessive. I don't feel like I would use that on a regular basis but you may be tracking for your dental hygiene or have some kind of issue where you don't remember. But this here is a pretty decent toothbrush. It does come with everything you need to get started. And I love that it comes with some extra heads. The app also has a direct link so you know exactly what heads to use. This one's easy to navigate, easy to read, and you can charge it and it will last, I think up to 45 days on a single charge. So you don't have to worry about it at all while you're out traveling. So I do like the option of this little traveling case so it does charge while it's in here so as you can see it does have a charger so if you're out and you're traveling you can just throw it in here and it will charge like that so you don't need to carry this with you and potentially lose this because if you lose this you're kind of sol so having this option is really cool i didn't even know they had that so traveling use this case at home you can use this to recharge don't worry you only need to use it once every 45 days or so so you can hide it when you don't need it so another really cool option on this one is it does have a brush head replacement reminder. So I usually use my brush heads until the very last day because I don't wanna buy more, but this here is gonna remind you that it's time to turn that in and throw it away and get a new one because it's probably not working effectively. So that's a really cool option. So the point of this video is to be comparing these two. So we have the nice and sleek, real robust toothbrush here with some basic functions. And then we have this Philips Sonicare. So size wise, you can definitely see one is a lot larger than the other. They both have different tops that you can purchase or change out. This one here is a lot more sleek though. I love the unboxing process on this one and I love the size because it's gonna fit better in my drawer. But let's see how well this one works. So using it was complicated at first, but after a while, once you get used to it, it's kind of simple. It just has the one button and you're gonna have to apply pressure to it to get it going and it starts working. So as you can see, it's moving back and forth. Put it on your teeth and it kind of does the work for you. So it actually feels really good. I feel like it's like a really intense brush, but let's change that. You're gonna double click it twice and remember to apply pressure. So this is number two. We're gonna start it and that is a different mode. So come in here, brush your teeth. That is really intense. Like I feel if I'm talk and I slip, I'm gonna hurt something. All right, I'm not using any toothpaste or anything obviously, but come in here, double click it. Okay, and you're gonna go to mode three, hold it down to start it. Okay, and now that's a different mode. So I can't really tell a difference. Even without toothpaste, my teeth feel extremely clean. This thing has a really powerful motor. You have to be extra careful because it's so strong. If you touch the plastic to your teeth, you can kind of feel it. So make sure you do this correctly because it is really intense and it does a really good job cleaning. So we're gonna compare it to the Sonicare here. So I do like the different options here. It's easier to read, it's more simple, but I love the sleekness of this one. So this one's real sleek and really beautiful. It's small, it's compact. This one here is a little bit easier to read and a little bit easier to navigate because all you have to do is press the button and that one here kind of shows you where it's going. It also has your battery indicator here and your power. So let's try this one out. So we have our different modes as well. So we're gonna go in the modes. I'm gonna select clean and we're gonna brush our teeth. Okay, you can go in and change. So as you see here, there is a low, a medium, and a high. And that is going to change there. Let's turn it off, that's clean. 
So to go from clean, you can change it to white plus, to gum health, or to deep clean. And then once you select that, you can select if you want high, medium, or low. This one here did a really good job as well. So it's gonna be a hard decision on which one I like better. This one here does take a little bit of getting used to, not gonna lie, but I do really love it. And that unboxing process was magical in itself. The Sonicare is well known, but it does have a dedicated charger that is kind of bulky and kind of a pain. So carrying this around, I know I've lost mine in the past. So this charger here is a negative for me. This one here has a lot smaller and a lot sleeker charger. I feel like this one's a lot more powerful and I feel like it looks a lot better and I love the size a lot more. I also feel like it's gonna be a lot more powerful. So the verdict is in, which toothbrush is going to be superior? Well, this one here usually costs twice as much as this one. So you gotta keep that in mind there. I love the stainless steel look on this one. It is going to be waterproof. It's a basic, simple function. Once you figure it out, it may be a little difficult at first, so make sure you get used to that. The app is really easy to use and you can control your toothbrush with it. This one here seems to have a lot of really fancy options that I don't think I will ever use and it doesn't seem nearly as strong as this one. I also am not a fan of the charging system with this one. The magnetic charging system on this one is so much better and it's a lot smaller. It's not big and bulky and I love to travel light. This one here has a well-known name and has been around for ages ages, but it is a lot more expensive and it has a lot of bells and whistles that I will probably never use. They're both great toothbrushes, but depending on your budget and your needs, you can choose which one is going to work best for you. I love the sleek look of this one and it does what I need. So overall for the price point, I would rather save some money and have the same kind of toothbrush that is going to brush my teeth just as good without all the bells and whistles. I love my new stainless steel toothbrush and so will you.